Happy Friday, Bridges Scholars! Today we will be reading National Geographic Readers Volcanoes by Anne Schreiber. This is a story of volcanoes and it's really cool, so let's learn about volcanoes and this will get you ready for today's virtual field trip to Crater Lake, Oregon. Mountains of Fire Ash and steam pour out of the hot mountain. Hot melted rock rises up inside the mountain. Suddenly a spray of glowing hot ash shoots out. It is an eruption. More melted rock is forced out. It spills down the side of the volcano in a burning hot river. Anything that cannot move is burned or buried. Word blast, eruption is when magma reaches Earth's surface, some eruptions are explosive. And this is the Kimonura volcano in Zaire. What did the volcano eat for lunch? Ashed potatoes. <laughs> Hot rocks. When magma comes out of the Earth, it is called lava. The lava hardens, ash and rock pile up, a volcano is born. So here's the magma chamber and the lava comes out. Deep beneath the Earth's surface, it is hot, hot enough to melt rock. When rock melts, it becomes a thick liquid called magma. Sometimes it puddles together in a magma chamber. Sometimes it finds cracks to travel through. If magma travels through a crack to the surface, the place it comes out is called a vent. So here's the vent. Shaky plates. Where do, rock, where do cracks and vents in the earth come from? The land we live on is broken into pieces called plates. The plates fit earth like a puzzle. They are always moving a few inches a year. When plates pull apart or smash together, watch out. And here in this little side note or a little excerpt, one place where Earth's plates smash together is called the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. It is the longest mountain range on Earth, and most of it is underwater. And this picture shows the gap that forms when plates pull apart, up, pull apart. and this is in Thingvellir, um, Iceland. Why don't volcanoes eat dinner? Their plates are broken! Ha ha ha! An island is born. What happens when two plates pull apart? They make a giant crack in the earth. Magma can rise up through these cracks. This even happens underwater. About 60 million years ago, an underwater volcano poured out so much lava, it made, a, it made new land. A huge island grew right in the middle of the ocean. Lava formed the country of Iceland. About 50 years ago, people saw smoke coming out of an ocean, out of the ocean near Iceland. The new, a new island was being born right before their eyes. They called it Surtsey after the Norse god of fire. Who, take care, who takes care of baby volcanoes? They're magmas. <laughs> the ring of fire. What happens when plates bump into each other? Maybe a mountain will be pushed a little higher. Maybe a volcano will, er will erupt. There may be an earthquake or a tsunami or both. The edge of the Pacific plate is grinding into plates around it. The area is called the ring of fire. Many of Earth's earthquakes and volcanoes happen in the ring of fire. Word blast, tsunami. they are large waves created by events like earthquakes and landslides. What is the most dangerous jewelry? The ring of fire. <laughs> Postcards from the ring. I lava you from Mount Merapi, India. Moose you very much from Karmiski Volcano, Kamchatka. Washing you a great day from the Cascade Mountains, Mountains in Washington State. And this is Mount St. Helens. Having a hot time in the Andes from the Tungurahu How volcano in Ecuador. These are all um, volcanoes from around the ring of fire. Meet a volcano or three. Not all volcanoes are the same. What kind they are depends on how they erupt. The lava from a shield volcano is hot and liquid. 
Rivers of lava flow from the volcano's vents. These lava flows create a gently sloping volcano. The Hawaiian myth of Pele tells the story of how Pele, the goddess of the earth and fire, built a home on Mauna Loa. Violent volcano, volcanic eruptions are said to be Pele's, Pele losing her temper. Meet Mauna Loa. Hot fact, Olympus Mons is on Mars is a shield volcano. It is the largest volcano in our solar system. Seen from above, it is round like a shield. How did the volcano see at night? It used a lava lamp. Ha <laughs> ha. A cone volcano has straight sides and tall, steep slopes. These volcanoes have beautiful eruptions. Hot ash and rocks shoot high into the air. Lava flows from the cone. One day, a cone volcano started erupting in a field in Mexico. It erupted for nine years. When it stopped, it was almost as high as the Empire State Building. And this is meet Baracutin. Oh, Baricutin. This is the Baricutin volcano in Mexico. Hot fact, even though Baricutin stopped exploding in 1952, the ground around it is still hot. Scientists guess that the that Paricutin spit out 10 trillion pounds of ash and rock. A stratovolcano is a layer cake. First, lava shoots out and coats the mountain. Then comes rock and ash, then more lava. The mountain builds up with layers of lava, rock, and ash. There is a myth about Vulcan, a Roman, the, a Roman god of fire and iron. He lived under Vulcan Island near Mount Etna. Every time Vulcan pounded his hammer, a volcano erupted. The word volcano comes from the name Vulcan. Meet Mount Etna. This is Mount Etna in Italy. The true story of Crater Lake. So this is our field trip today, um, virtual field trip to Crater Lake, Oregon. So let's find out a little more. Crater Lake may seem like a regular lake, but it's, it is actually a stratovolcano. It was once a mountain called Mount Mazama. Now it is a deep, clear lake in Oregon. An explosion over 6,000 years ago blew the top off Mount Mazama. Lava, dust, and ash swept down the mountain. The mountaintop fell in and a giant caldera was formed. Over time, the caldera, a crater, filled with water. It is the deepest lake in the United States. Word blast. A caldera is formed when the top of a volcano caves in. And this is Crater Lake in Oregon. And after the mountain collapsed, there were more eruptions. In one, a small cinder cone of ash and lava was formed. This cinder cone pokes out of the lake. It is called Wizard Island. And this is Crater Lake. How do you cross Crater Lake? in a volcano, volcano. <laughs> Volcanoes rock. Pahoho, name, oh, I said it wrong. Pa this tells you the pronunciation. Say, pahoihoi, how it forms. Fast, hot, liquid lava hardens into smooth rope-like rock. Special power, it hardens into a beautiful and weird shapes known as lava sculptures. Ah, uh, uh, how it fo forms. The crust on top of ah, uh, ah, uh, lava hardens into sharp mounds of rock. It can, special powers, it can cut right through the bottom of your shoes. Name, Pele, Pele's hair. How it forms. Lava fountains throw lava into the air where small bits of stre uh, stretch out and form glass threads. Special powers, these strands of volcanic glass are super thin and long, just like hair. Small tear-shaped pieces of glass called Pele, Pele's tears sometimes form at the end of Pele's, Pele's hair. Pumice, how it forms? A big explosion, a molten, in a big explosion, molten rock can get filled with gas from the volcano. When the lava hardens, the gas is trapped inside. Special powers, the gas makes the rock so light that it can float on water. So these are different kinds of rocks that are created from volcanoes. Volcanic record breakers. Indonesia, a string of islands, is, the, is in the ring of fires, has more erupting volcanoes than anywhere on Earth. 
This is Java Island. The place with the most volcanic activity is not on Earth. It is on Io, one of Jupiter's moons. In 1883, explosions on Krakatoa was the loudest sound in recorded time. People heard the explosion over 2,500 miles away. Anak Krakatoa, which means child of Krakatoa, is a volcano that was born in 1927 where Krakatoa used to be. Mount Etna is the largest active volcano in Europe. What did the astronomer say about the volcanoes on Io? They're out of this world. <laughs> hot spots. Do you want to visit somewhere really hot? Check out these hot spots, places on Earth where magma finds its way through the Earth's crust. Hot spots are heated by volcanic activity. The Hawaiian Islands are all volcanic mountains. They start on the sea floor and poke out above the sea. Kilauea in Hawaii is still erupting. As long as it keeps erupting, the island of Hawaii is, keeps growing. On Kushu Island in Japan, some people use the hot springs to boil their eggs. Take a bath with the monkeys in Japan. In Iceland, you can swim in pools heated by volcanoes. Exploding ending. If you visit Yellowstone National Park, you will be standing on one of the biggest super volcanoes on Earth. Yellowstone sits on an ancient caldera. Magma still bubbles and boils a few miles below the ground. Yellowstone has a lot of geysers, more than 300. The magma below Yellowstone caldera heats underground water. The water boils and bursts to the surface as geysers spraying steam and hot water high into the air. Go to Yellowstone and see Earth in action. And that is the end of our book. Here are some words that you, you've you learned while reading along. Caldera is, is formed when the top of a volcano caves in. Magma is a thick liquid melted rock. Magma chamber is a space deep underground filled with melted rock. Tsunami are large waves created by events like earthquakes and landslides. Eruption is when a, the magma reaches the Earth's surface. Some eruptions are explosive. An event is an opening in the Earth's surface where volcanic materials come out. That is the end of our book about volcanoes from National Geographic Kids. Thank you so much, Bridges Scholars, for following along with me and learning about volcanoes today. Don't forget to visit Crater Lake in Oregon on our virtual field trip Friday today. See you all soon. Have a great weekend.